Okay, first of all, before I get started, uh, I just want to let you guys know that uh, Small Boom said that they're going to make a, a Wii U version of Petite Computer, which is pretty exciting. I, I know you guys are probably like, eh, you know, when, when are they going to release Small Basic? But that, that's supposedly supposed to be in a couple of months, if I haven't already told you. Uh, right now, they've submitted it to Nintendo for review. I mean, nobody really knows how long that's supposed to take, but the developers of Small Boom said it shouldn't take more than a couple of months, so I'm hoping that they're right. And But anyways, a, a Wii U release is pretty exciting, and they say that you know all of these programs that we make on the 3DS are supposed to work on the Wii U. But anyways, to the video, uh, what I have here is uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make a menu, and I've got like a little spot where you can open up by pressing A and then close it by pressing B. Well, let's take a look at the code. Uh, I start off with the label at close, and then I clear my screen with ACLS. Then we have our uh, G fill, which the parameters for G fill is the starting X and the starting Y, and then the ending X and ending Y, and the last one is the color. I have printed a stat skill bag, you know, just the basics that you'll find in a, a game menu. And here I have my uh, menu 1. Over here, you see I have B equals button 3. Now what button 3 is, is that is it only returns true if the button that you press is released. Uh, and that kind of keeps your, uh, your menu button from moving up and down. Whenever you have more than uh, two menu items, that's what you want to do. That way it just doesn't skip over the middle one. Now I have my, I print my arrow, and then if B equals 2, which is down, then first of all, I want to print a blank space over my arrow so that it disappears. That's going to be your best way, rather than just clearing the screen of all text and then having to reprint it. You just print a blank space over whatever text that you want to get rid of. I have wait 1, which that keeps uh, the button command from, it, it gives it time to kind of clear out before it moves on to the next uh, the, the next button read because if it reads that same button press that you press from the first menu then it's just going to skip over the second menu and then I have go to at menu 2 so let's look in menu 2 real quick and I'll get to this B equals 16 thing here in a little bit but in menu 2 I've of course, of course uh, print my arrow and then I have B equals 1 which is up and then B equals 2 which is down either way I'm going to print a blank space over my cursor and uh, then go to the respected menus now in menu 3 I've pretty much got the same thing going on here now let's take a look at what happens whenever you open up menu 1 such as like this pressing A and pressing A is B equals 16, which goes to at menu 1 open, which is at the very bottom here. I've got a G fill that creates that box. And then I've just got B equals button. I'm not worried about, you know, how it works. Because if B equals 32 is pressed, which is B, then I just go to at close, which goes all the way back at the top of our program and just completely clears the screen. So whenever I open this and then I press B, it basically goes back to stats. And, you know, that's, that's probably not exactly what you're going to want to do whenever putting a menu in your game. But for this example, it was just kind of like the best, quickest option. But anyways, if, uh, if there's anything you want to learn, just leave a comment.